as we look at the spread of the coronavirus today, um, we can get little glimpses into the future from both places that are recently getting infected, places that aren't infected, but also the places where it all started. And when you look around the world in uh, Europe, North America, uh, the Middle East, um, and now you can see that this is really, um, we're, we're, we're really at the um, let's say, period of exponential growth. So we're still seeing the virus going up very, very rapidly, even in hard hit places like um, like Italy, for example. So these countries are still have months of this challenge in front of them. And the question then is what's going to happen? Is this going to disappear completely? Are we going to get into a period of cyclical waves? Or are we going to end up with low level sort of endemic disease that we have to deal with? If we do the testing of every single case, rapid isolation of the cases, you should be able to keep cases down low. If you simply rely on the big sort of shutdown measures without finding every case, then you could every time you take the break off of that pressure you put on the virus, it could come back in waves. So that future, frankly, may be determined by um, us and our response as much as the virus. And the big question right now is, are countries going to use this time during these shutdown periods optimally? This is guerrilla warfare against a virus. The virus is just going to sit you out, right? It'll just circulate quietly among, you know, households, et cetera. And then you're going to let them all go again. Boom, it'll take, there's no reason it shouldn't take off again unless you're ready for it. The thing that we don't really understand, and it may simply be a matter of time, is how come some places like this northern part of Italy really explode when other places that look the same um, in terms of the you know, age distribution, in terms of the medical capacity, in terms of the temperatures, all those different factors didn't. Um, that That's that's nature. That's, you know, this is a biologic process. They don't run like clockwork. They, 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 uh, they, they're, they're, there's great variability. This will end with, you know, humanity victorious over yet another virus. There's no question about that. Um, the question is how much and how fast we will take the measures necessary to minimize the damage that this thing, uh, this thing can do. So in time, we will have therapeutics. We will have vaccines. We're in a race against that. Um, and we should be able to win that race. And it's going to take great cooperation and patience from the general population to play their part. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be the general population that stops this thing and slows it down enough to, to get it under control.